Let me ask you, by the way, quickly on the uh, 11 million. Are you still for finding a way for them to legally stay in the United States? Yeah, look, if you're a criminal alien, no, you can't stay. I don't think you're going to round up and deport 12 million people. We talked about this a little bit earlier on the program. Senator Marco Rubio on NBC's Meet the Press yesterday telling Chuck Todd that only illegal immigrants who commit felonies should be deported. Of course, that conveniently overlooks the fact that coming here without permission is illegal. Immigration has become an increasingly important issue to Republican voters, but has a shift to a more hardline stance redefined what it means to be conservative. Last week, Boston Globe columnist Jeff Jacoby wrote an opinion piece entitled How I Became a Dissident on the Right. He also mentioned someone I know pretty well. You see it in there? He said just a few election cycles ago, immigrant bashing and seal the border nativism was limited to a relatively narrow sliver of the political right. The likes of culture warrior Pat Buchanan, TV personality Lou Dobbs, and former Arizona Congressman J.D. Hayworth. Well, maybe I'd put it another way, enforcing the law. At any rate, we're very pleased to be joined via Skype from Boston by the columnist for the Boston Globe, the aforementioned uh, Jeff Jacoby. Jeff, I appreciate your time here. I appreciated what you wrote last week. Over time, views among members of different parties change. But I have to ask you, what's wrong with a law and order approach to the border? Well, that would be like saying, what's wrong with the law and order approach to fugitive slaves? There was a time when the Republican Party stood for opposing a bad law. That was the law that, uh, that required that runaway slaves be returned to their masters. It was one of the things that brought the Republican Party uh, uh, to fruition, that, that gave rise, gave, brought to the rise of, of Abraham Lincoln. Nobody then said, hey, listen, you enforce the law no matter what. Rather, they said, if it's a bad law, you change the law. It seems to me that that's not only what Republicans and what conservatives should stand for, but what common sense calls for. Now, now had, with all due respect, to, to compare this to the fugitive slave law, when we're po in post-9-11 America, when sadly, for the better part of two decades, a failure of administrations of both parties to enforce existing law has given us real problems with national security, I just don't see the equation between slavery and open borders. I'm not comparing slavery and open borders. I'm comparing the notion that you enforce the law no matter what it says to the idea that there are times when laws have clearly outlived their usefulness or maybe never were that useful in the first place and need to be modified or changed. If, if you had a, 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 you remember when the, the 55 mile an, uh, an hour limit on the, on the highway was the national law, there were all kinds of parts of this country, I would imagine Arizona among them, where people routinely violated that speed limit was the solution to say, well, never mind, we're going to crack down on that, on that 55 mile an hour limit, whether the drivers like it or not. We'll hand out millions of tickets if that's what it takes. No, eventually a more common sense approach kicked in, which was to say, wait a second, this speed limit is not making any sense. It shouldn't be enforced. It should be changed. But I, I appreciate the application of that, Jeff, but with all due respect, in the minute left, I don't see how we trivialize border security equating with national security and and to gloss over and suddenly render this uh well it's okay come on into the country it just adds to the problem does it not you get the last word we have so much to talk about i wish that we had i wish we could sit down for an hour and, and kick this around america needs immigrants america has always welcomed immigrants i as a staunch conservative all my life i support a ronald reagan approach to immigration we ought to totally overhaul our immigration laws so that we don't have these artificial arbitrary quotas that we have now, but rather the rule should be, if you want to come to America and your intentions are peaceful and you want to become a citizen, you want to be a productive and useful member of society, we want you to come here. If well, those aren't your intentions, we want to keep you out. I'll that tell you what, and I tell you what I appreciate. The first thing you said, you'd like to have an hour-long debate. Let's work on that, maybe yeah. through the auspices of Newsmax TV, and you and I will take an hour to debate this issue. Does that sound okay, Jeff? I, I would love to do that. Good, you're we, on. We'll set it up. There's more ahead. Our thanks to Jeff Jacoby.